This is Mog Anarchy, and today I'm going on a nostalgia trip. And you can come with me if you like. When I was a kid, judging by the date on these things, I'm going to say about, about 11 or 12, there was a series of toys at McDonald's uh, linked in with a cartoon that was on at the time called Little Monsters. And I really, really liked the figures and I wanted to collect them all. And to my knowledge, looking at this full set that I've got off eBay, I managed to get three of them. But now I've got the full set! So we're going to start with ones that I actually had. Ones that I actually remember. Okay, so here's the card from the Happy Mail. So how many is that? One, two, three, nine. So nine all together and I managed to get three of them as a kid. So these are the figures themselves. Quite big. Big and chunky. Very light though, like hollow plastic. This guy's called Revolting Ronnie. And he's got a jar full of worms. And if you turn this little circle on the bottom, the worms uh, wriggle around. Fair enough. But also, this at the front, you pull it out and it's jokes. And as you pull it out, the worms move. And it goes on for quite a while. See, there's quite a long thing of jokes here. So let's have a seat. Uh, what do you do with a blue monster? You try and cheer him up. How do you stop a monster smelling? You remove his nose. Why was the broom late? It overswept. Shall we stop? Yeah, I think we should. And then you turn this and wind it back up. Aha! Right, so there's one. One that I had as a kid. And here's another one that I definitely, definitely remember having. This guy is called Dangerous Dave. And he's got, uh, he's not all that dangerous because he is actually well protected. He's got a helmet and arm pads and knee pads and the like. But maybe you don't want to, the creators didn't want to set a bad example for kids. So he's got a skateboard with some little pegs to stand on. And inside here are some stickers that we can stick on it. And he comes with stick-on plasters. There's absolutely loads of them. It's like, it's like six sheets of them. 20. You get 20 plasters to stick all over him and some fire to stick on the, the skateboard which I presume goes on the sides, possibly on the top. But because he's got little pegs on his feet, you can ride it. And then when he crashes and falls off, you can put plasters on him. And I like the fact that they just fit ever so neatly and nicely away inside the skateboard. I don't remember the plasters. Huh. I remember putting the flames on the skateboard, but I don't remember the plasters. And the third one I remember having is this guy. He's called Silly Sydney. He's silly because he's got pants on his head and he's wearing flippers. Because he was wearing flippers, I used to play with him in the bath. Now, you may have noticed this shirt is actually fabric. If you pull on his pants, his shirt kind of goes up. It's not a perfect mechanism, I admit, because he's got like a little clip on his belly with the shirt is velcroed to. Yeah, the, um, shall we say the functionality of these figures differs greatly between them. Some of them have far more functions than the others, and this is one of the uh, less functional ones, shall we say. <laughs> yeah. That's all, he, that's all he does really. His shirt goes up. You can move the arms, you can move the flippers, and so forth. This young lady is called Grown Up Gabby. And she's quite clearly like dressed up in a mum's clothes. She's not articulated, like at all. It's a solid lump. And she's got a hat. How does the hat fit on her head? Oh, it goes on sort of like sideways like that. There's little nubs inside that match her hair. But she is a stamper. <laughs> What's the date on these things? Uh, 2002. 
Does the stamper still work? We will use this because I've got absolutely tons of them and quite clearly they have no collector's value now I've opened the bags. It does. It still works after 15 years. Well done McDonald's. You get a point. This guy is called TV Trevor. You can move his arms, you can't move his head. If you move this arm up and down, his cape flaps. I don't know why he's called TV though. He's obviously dressed enough as a superhero, the superhero he's seen on TV. Because his, his cape clicks onto this little thing at the back and the motion of his arm causes it to flap. This guy is called Wide Awake Wesley. Hello, Bamba. Hello. And he has an alarm clock, and his eyes look like they're gonna move. So his alarm clock's on a string, so if we pull it out. He sort of like rings like an alarm clock. As you do. Does it work when he's just standing up? I think it works better actually. It works better if he's flat on the table. Interesting. This one is called Serious Sadie. And this was one I remember I wanted. I saw it on the um, splay. And I wanted it. Because she's reading a book. And uh, as a kid, you know, I was quite studious. I liked books. Her plats move. <laughs> That's something. If you take the book off her, I'll give you it back in a minute, love. This is a sticker sheet of all the characters. But what focus? Focus, please. There we go. The characters from the cartoon Dangerous Dave. We've seen him. Forgetful Fiona, Revolting Ronnie, Sulky Sue, Here's Sadie, Clumsy Clarissa. And these are, of course, stickers. Or you can just fold them back up into the book and she can, you know, read about her friends. This is forgetful Fiona. She's forgot to put pants on or a skirt on, so she's just wearing her knickers. I wonder if you could get away with that nowadays. <laughs> uh, her arm can move, but her function is this. She comes with this. It's a little memo pad that says, don't forget. Don't be forgetful like she is and forget to put your pants on. And this is Perfect Prudence. Now I don't remember in the cartoon if she was like an antagonist because they're all naughty and she's good. Or if she was trying to be good and always made a mess of things. I honestly don't remember. I'm going to have to look that up. So the only thing that moves on her is this arm. But she comes with this uh, little vacuum cleaner. And when it moves, all the little balls inside move around. And uh, you can twist this around. <laughs> So, I couldn't complete the collection as a kid, but all I had to do was wait 15 years, go on eBay, and I ended up with the full collection of toys.